Hey everyone, so I just wanted to walk you through the process of how I'm texturing my uh, wood trim sheet here. And this is an asset I'm doing for a scene for a team challenge currently. And I just wanted to kind of break over how I start with making my uh, smart material. This one is not yet done, I'm still yet to add like a few bits and pieces here. But the main principle of texturing this should apply to generally everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename this wood trim sheet. Uh, let me name it 01 just in case. I'm going to add a fill layer to start with. And I'm just going to do color and roughness. I'm going to bump that roughness up high to something 0.9. And now we can see the bake very, very clearly. <coughs> Uh, it's a very nice bake. I don't see any uh, big problems. Any, like, uh, yeah. Not any skewing or anything. This part is a bit too much, but I think we will manage with it. So, first is always picking the base color. And I'm gonna just do that. And I'm gonna pick some brownish theme color. Uh, something like this might just do it. I, I like the way this looks. <clears throat> and next up are the edges. So I'm just going to duplicate this one and going to say uh, edge now. And I'm going to add a black mask here with a generator. And the generator is just going to be a simple curvature generator. And let me just put this up a bit so we know what we're doing. And immediately this brings us some cool results. But this is a bit too much. So let's see. Something like this. And adding levels is always a nice way of kind of uh, controlling all this detail. And we can bring down some of the white values. And this gives us that nice and subtle look. Maybe it's a bit too subtle. Let's see. Maybe we should bring this up a bit more. Mm, let's see. This way. This way. This is pretty fancy, I think. It's just maybe a little bit on the side. And that should do quite nicely. So I'm just going to... Take some time picking the right color. Yep, something a bit more desaturated works a bit better with edges, I believe. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is AO. And there's two ways I can do this. One is uh, through a dirt generator, like this. Uh, or wait, I think I need to pull it from from over here. So dirt, uh, this one. Yep. Oh, I think it's, it actually ended up being the same. Never mind. Uh, so we just go here and that's a pretty messed up mask here. Is it uh, because of, let's see. Let's debug this a little bit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is because of these places, but these should be good. Like these black places should be this way. Um, but the mask is just weird. Let's see. So global balance, we'll just do this. Texture one, that's the crunch. Texture two. Um, ambient occlusion. I'm not really liking this one, so I'm just gonna go with a normal ambient occlusion generator, so AO here, and that gives us a nice thing here. But we want to invert the mask to get all these nice details. So if I go back to the material, it doesn't really do much because the color isn't correct. And we should choose some kind of complementary color to this one. 
and I think something a bit reddish will do the trick here a little bit maybe on the magenta I think this color is called uh, so something like this just very subtle and then in the levels we want to kind of expand the AO if we want to like this I think expanding it like this and then maybe lowering the opacity will do a great job here so just kind of lowering this to like 40 that seems pretty cool but maybe it's still over too much yeah this this looks right about fine I think uh, I think this is pretty cool so we will pack these in a folder and I'm gonna call the folder AO and edges I'm just gonna pack these up in here there we go pretty simple stuff and now we will go on to some paint layers and I'm gonna copy my base color for that and say paint layer and first thing add a black mask and then add a fill and in this fill we will try to see which ones uh, which textures will work best I like crystal node so we can see we can maybe tile it a bit more mm -hmm. uh, yeah offset doesn't matter that much can we yeah uh, let's try and do like two and maybe four in here so we have a bit more verticality so to say here uh, that's that's what I like in here looks pretty pretty cool uh, one thing I did forget to do is I want to create a folder here and this is gonna be planks and I'm just gonna put the paint layers into the planks and I'm gonna create a black mask and using these tools I'm gonna select only my planks and I have divided it this way so um, I can select only the planks and now if I change the color slightly you can see it's only affecting the planks and actually this is quite a cool effect we've got to be honest uh, but we will just uh, see what color let's pick the original color and then go from there that seems pretty good uh, I don't know if slope blur will help anything here, but we can always give it a shot. At like very low intensity. Uh, I don't really like it. I like the base crystal node. I'm going to add some levels though, and I'm going to tile it maybe even five times. So something like this. And this adds like such nice damages to this whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna gonna do it like a bit white even, and uh, actually I'm gonna do it quite sub, sub, like uh, high intensity, so I can see where the levels can get me. Oh yeah, this is this is amazing. We can <laughs> sometimes I I feel like I can ship this just like as it is. But just a bit more hue here and there uh, to just get those details and I'm gonna lower this to maybe 60 don't want it too much uh, let's see 70 is fine as well uh, this is yeah this is pretty pretty good I would say and the thing I will do next is probably add a little bit of grunge on top of it is all so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna copy the layer over and this time around I will add a grunge map so let's say I think the four yeah four is the good one and this one uh, I want first to make the tile tiles normal and maybe two by two 
2 by 2 actually I'm gonna lock it uh, 2 by 2 seems fun uh, 1.5 maybe let's see this seems quite interesting and then we can add this these levels just kind of create this pretty good and here is where slope blur can really shine so blur slope so we have all those kind of painterly layers here and there. And this is the one that's going to have, I think, a bit darker color. Let's see. Something like this. Like, it should look something like a stain. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Let's switch around with the color a bit more we just need subtle stuff subtle detail so something like this can really work nicely yeah this is this is pretty cool and then what we want is some like a bit more color variation in this so we can use the same grunge map and just say randomize the seed and then say let's say this is 0.5 so now if you see it we have like these bigger splotches if I do 0.25 maybe it's gonna be even bigger but we still want some of them there something like this and maybe we can hit random a few times to just see all the possibilities yeah this one I, I like and this is like a bigger uh, color variation. I can keep it this color, but let's see if I kind of randomize this a bit. Maybe desaturate this. Something like this could work. Mm, yep, that is pretty good just let's see maybe a bit more white mm, yeah that's interesting I just don't like this this big white splotch here so what I'm gonna do is just lower these white values all together and then maybe increase like here That looks about right. And this is pretty good. Maybe even bump this to 80, huh? This gives like the main color and the main stripes. Mm. It's looking pretty good. So we have done a lot with only a few of these. And I'm gonna copy this one and just use this darker color and I'm just gonna randomize the grunge map a little to just get a bit more of those uh, big splotches here and there and I think this is pretty good so one thing I'm gonna do here and it's a pretty fun thing you can do is um, oh no I, I made the wrong thing uh, control C and then control D so I'm just gonna place this in here and this doesn't even need to have roughness this is just as is pretty much and this is the base color control so I can have this be at 20 or I can have it higher just I can flatten it as much as I want per se so 40 gives like you still have this grunge underneath but it's quite a bit more flattened and I like this a lot when creating um, stuff like this because it's it's a really good way to control like how the amount of grunge you want. But sometimes um, you can use it a bit too much. So a good thing I'm gonna use here is I'm gonna do a black mask and I'm gonna select this and this. There we go. And then I'm gonna repeat this. So I'm gonna clear mask and then select this and this 
and then again clear mask so we need one two three so one and two okay so on this one is this and this on this one is this and this and on this one is these two so we can control each of these hues so to say so i'm gonna say plank a and this is gonna be plank b this is gonna be plank c plank d and then plank e so we know what we're actually controlling with all of these so if we want a color variation in this one we can have it easy as and it's pretty pretty cheap way to get quite a lot of nice color variation you will see like i can i can create so much color variation just just by simply messing with the hues a little bit so this one i don't really like this yellowish yep and then on the plank e we can have let's say maybe a bit of a lighter plank something like this and i think the plank b has a bit too much so let's have it a bit more saturated maybe a bit darker but saturated yeah this this looks pretty good like with a pretty decent amount of variation and i'm just gonna do a little down in the hue There we go. That's uh, that's pretty interesting and pretty good. So in the next part, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, do the roughness maps properly and how to kind of variate them. Because as of now, if you go to roughness, eh, we don't have anything. So the next part will be all about roughness maps and why you need to make them and why they're so special. So see you in the next part of this.